Hello, Teremino is an open source system to connect computer with the real world. Unlike similar systems, for example Arduino, the system works immediately and does not require any firmware programming. The communication between the PC and the external components is done through Teremino master board, which is just an input-output device and not a microprogrammable controller as Arduino. You can get the Teremino master board ready for about $20 or make it yourself because the code and instructions for making it are free. Now you have more than 150 great Windows applications on the Teremino website that allow you to control the components, modules or se sensors connected to the Teremino master board. The Teremino systems uses the power of the PC and the flexibility and low cost of the microcontrollers. So with this combination we can make great devices. I think the main reason that this system is not very popular with many electronics and do-it-yourself enthusiasts is this Teremino masterboard that usually needs to be ordered and then waited to arrive. However, the developers of Teremino systems have made firmware and application so that instead of Teremino board, you can use Arduino Nano microcontroller, which is often found in do-it-yourselfers. So, if you have an Arduino Nano microcontroller, we can make a basic Teremino project uh, in less than an hour and we can easily see the benefits. Otherwise, I'm sure that after the first project with the help of Arduino Teremino board, you will want to get the original Teremino board, which is primarily compatible with all projects, has a higher speed of communication and other advantages. The user itself, even without uh, knowing programming, can configure the module to measure phys physical quant quantities of all kinds. Temperatures, radiations, uh, magnetic fields, earthquakes, and to drive the servos, motors, LED lamps, ovens, relay, robotics, CNC machines, 3D printers, etc. This time I will present you two simple examples to, to control LEDs. Let's first explain how to upload the firmware to the Arduino Nano microcontroller. Let me mention that this procedure is done only once at the beginning and then this Arduino is used for all Teremino projects. I hope most readers already have some experience, so I will explain this step briefly. Let's now explain how to upload the firmware to the Arduino Nano microcontroller. Let me mention that this procedure is done only once at the beginning and then this Arduino is used for all Teremino projects. I, ha I hope mo most readers already have some experience, so I will explain this step briefly. First, browse the Browse to the location of the Arduino library for folder. This is that location. We'll copy and paste here. So this is libraries folder. Uh, open the library folder and copy the and copy here the folder named uh, Teremino, which contains the zip file Arduino library Teremino v1.8. Uh, that is given below or you can download it from the official site. So we need to copy this folder here. Now in Arduino ID software, go to File, Examples, Teremino Tereduino, and Tereduino V1. Uh, now we need to upload given sketch to Arduino Nano board, and that's all. Uploading is done. Uh, now the Arduino is ready and we can use it in all the supported Teremino projects which are around 100. Uh, next you need to start the Arduhal 
application which is used for mapping and configuring all Arduino ports. This application is a link between the Windows software and the microcontroller. In the first example, we will create buttons with which we can turn on and off the LED. For this purpose, we use application Teremino buttons. Connect an LED to a digital pin, for example D7, via 470 ohms series resistor as shown in the schematic diagram. Now in the Arduhal application, we define pin D7 as dig digital out. We launch the Teremino button application. Now hold down the CTRL key on the keyboard and click the left mouse button. Uh, in this menu uh, we can change different parameters for this button and we will just put the name of the button LED on. Uh, uh, then put slot 7. And finally the maximum value which can which in this case is 1000. Uh, we do the same with the second button. For the name now we put let off. slot 7 and value 0 now with this application we can turn on and off LED through the PC software that we modified ourselves The next example is control of RGB LED. For this purpose, we connect the RGB LED diode to the D9, D10 and D11 pins through the appropriate series resistors as shown in the schematic diagram. Then we start the Arduhal application and set these three pins as PWM. This way we can continuously change each color. Now launch the Teremino RGB application and set first input slot 1, number of input slots 3 and first output slot 9. When dragging the sliders up and down, uh, the intensity of each color changes continuously. By changing these three basic colors, uh, we can generate the whole spectrum. The program also has option to change the intensity of the three colors automatically according to certain mathematical function and we can also change the time and speed.
Finally, this is just a small introduction to the world of the Termino system and I recommend you to go to their website where you can find a lot of information and each project is explained and documented in the smallest detail. And best of all, many great applications are free. In the future I will present you many more projects bought with Arduino Nano and the original Termino Masterboard.